Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a realistic explode in Cinema 4D. Uh, I made a uh, video like this, uh, basically using the Throusy plugin, uh, you can explode some text or objects, whatever you feel like adding it to. One sec. Okay, there we go. Um, but if you noticed, uh, the way I did it, it, it the, the thing crumbled, like I had a, I had a basic cube in and you applied the Throusy plugin and it just crumbled down, it didn't actually explode. Uh, I got a few comments saying how do you actually get it to explode like shown here. Uh, so I'm just going to run you through what you need to do to explode it. Uh, you can mess with the velocity settings, wherever I, th I think I have an easier way. Um, it, it's, it's kind of like compromising, it's not really using very much settings. It's just kind of using knowledge, well not so much knowledge. Uh, because Nitro Man actually told me how you do it. Uh, Nitro Man is the maker of Throusy. Uh, but if you just go to File New, and if you just make a new floor, wrong one, there we go, floor, and just make a new text object, like so. So I'm just going to type in my name, uh, which you probably know is Connor. Uh, the font I'm going to change to Neo Sans, uh, bold italic. Uh, depth to 100. Quite like this font with that depth. And it's gonna add some caps, you know, just to make it look quite nice. So it kind of blends around the edges, so it's not a hard, hard edge cut. Like so. There we go. And we've got a basic, quite nice scene going on there. It's a bit bland. Uh, so I'm just gonna set up this scene first of all. And I'm gonna be doing. You can follow me through. So I'm gonna change the render settings to 1280 by 720 um, I recommend using them settings uh, kind of HD settings they are and just added a global illumination and ambient occlusion uh, the contrast and ambient occlusion maybe add to 15 okay and now if we render it out I'll tell you what it will not work because I haven't added a sky so add a sky render it out make sure you add the sky uh, otherwise the global illumination won't work because the sky is the global illumination so it's, it's rendering out here white spots are the points of light and uh, just be refracting that like so and it's quite a nice scene it's rendering there you get the gist of it uh, but now we're going to add the th plugin Throusy uh, if you don't have Throusy link is in the description um, you can download it from Nitro Man uh, he also it gives you a lot of help and if you make you can make a video on it, get uploaded to his to his website, whatever. Uh, it's just an all around cool guy and a great plugin. Uh, so go to plugins Throusy and then Throusy and pieces. Um, I'll have it to 50, and I'll click break now. And it will just take a while to break now. Uh, when I when I seem to start recording, you know, it always seems to take be like take longer. Uh, when I like run through this before the tutorial, you know, it kind of does it straight away. But uh, well, you know, it's not taking too long. It's on sixty percent now, and it seems to be frozen somewhat the background. Hopefully, the program doesn't crash. That would be annoying. Uh, ninety odd percent, ninety five. Go on. Ah, there we go. And. If you play it out, you notice that it won't do anything, it'll just sink below the floor. That is because it's breaking, but it doesn't know what's the floor, so it doesn't want to rebound off. So what you need to do is you need to add a rigid body to the floor. So right click, go to Cinema 4, no not Cinema 4D tag, sorry, MoGraph tags, and rigid body. And now click play, and it'll start to fall on the floor. Uh, it's actually being quite slow, I don't know why. But anyway, you see that it starts to fall on the floor. Um, so now, if we, what we want to do is you want to get it to explode, sort of like up, so it actually explodes and not crumbles. Um, so to do this, it's kind of basic really, it's kind of not very professional at all, but you know, add a sphere in, um, drag it up to 100, move it along, add a rigid body tag to that, right click MoGraph rigid body, and play again, just see what happens here. Um, so that's the sort of explode that you'll get, kind of explodes from the middle, and that looks quite cool, you know, it kind of like poof, explodes from the middle, like, explosion in the middle of the text. 
Um, but you know, that, well, that's looking all good, except if you've got a big gigantic ball in the middle of your screen. Um, so what I want to do is want to get that to stay there, and that the effects of that to be there, however the ball to be invisible. So to do this, if you go to the um, objects panel on the right, and you tick these little circle boxes, the two little ones, and they become green, and then you click them again, or wrong button, uh, click them again, and they'll both be red. Now what this does is it takes it away from the scene, but because you've still got the tick there, it, the effects still apply. So now if you play, the, the text sort of explodes from the middle, and the, the ball is invisible. So that is how to create the explode effect. Um, you know, you go back here, um, like so, just render that out. Uh, if I can move up to wait this along, i tell you what, we'll add a light. You can't go wrong with a good old fashioned light. Drag it up, shadow map soft, you know, crank it down, 60, oh, 65 hiccups there. Drag it to a light baby blue, good old baby blue, render that out. In fact, uh, now I'll leave it like that. Uh, what to talk about, what to talk about in these awkward moments when it's rendering. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What about today's economy, eh, guys? What about today? I heard Google's down 0.1%. No, 0.001%. I know. I'm as shocked as you guys are. Oh, God, this is taking a long time. Oh. Oh, it's so awkward over the internet. Oh, my God, it's ridiculous. Oh, it's going to take a while. But, no, you get the gist of it. I'm going to stop it there. If we start to play... Uh, it kind of explodes from the middle, you know, if you want it to explode from one side, just get the sphere, kind of use your general knowledge, check it, drag it to the left, and it'll explode, like the left will explode and like the right will crumble. Uh, you can make the sphere bigger, you know, so it's a big meaty old ball, can't go on with meaty balls. Uh, go to the beginning, play again, and it just explodes completely out, like that's some fucking, no, I'm not going to say that. Uh, just like there's like so, but no, that's how to create an explode. You can mess with the velocity settings um, on here. Dynamics, uh, yeah, you can mess with these velocity settings, but you know, it's always fun to add a big ball to the scene. Can't go wrong with that. But I uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.